Hello, I'm Dirty Joe, and with me today is Autech. Hello. We are bringing you the match between Eastern Michigan University and University of Ontario Institute of Technology. And this match is part of the Ivy Law League, which features over 250 college campuses going head-to-head each week to bring on prizes and, more importantly, bragging rights as the best in competitive League of Legends. So if that sounds like something you might want to compete in or watch, head over to IvyLaw.com. Cheeto Fido, Bean Burrito, my name's Dirty Gito. <laughs> Are you rapping? I'm working on my catchphrases. I need a good catchphrase. If you guys have any good suggestions, head over to IvyLaw.com or LeagueOfLegendsPodcast.com and drop us a line. Yes, and we are from the Minions of Spawn podcast, which is LeagueOfLegendsPodcast.com, so check that out. And this match today is from the perspective of Tarek, who is on Eastern Michigan University, so keep that in mind. Mr. Quackers. Mr. Quackers and... The team they're playing against, University of Ontario Institute of Technology, kind of a mouthful, so we are just going to refer to as to them as Ontario from here on out. Looks like they're heading up to this top bush here, which is kind of uncommon for normal matches. Yeah, it is a weird place to sit. And usually, usually you see them sitting at the blue or doing some jungle invasion, but looks like they're just trying to catch someone off guard here. Mm-hmm. And Tarek has the typical support build. Mm-hmm. The Fairy Charm, Three Wards, and Health Bot, which is the best thing you can do as support. And here they go. Now they're invading the jungle. Looks like they're going to probably steal the small golems. And as you can see as well... Using the CV there. Using the CV and also using chat. That's kind of interesting. Maybe it looks like Ash might not be on chat. Right. Or on the Ventrilo. Yeah, usually you don't see much uh, chatting in pre-made because right. they're usually all on uh, voice over IP, but... This could lead to hilarity if your <laughs> does come through here. Yeah. That's what they're hoping on is for that top laner to head through that bush. Right. Or they can catch him if he runs by the lane there, too. Right. And if he doesn't, then it's going to be a big waste of time. Well, they'll, at least they'll steal the minions here. Oh, oh and here he is. There's York. The devil. There he goes. And the exhaust is up. The stun. stun. Look at wow. that. Didn't even flash. Easy peasy. Really good gank there, catching him off guard. He was not ready for that. <laughs> and not at all, and Talon picks up that kill as well. York gets surprised. So it looks like we have Talon mid. Got the leash on blue here. It looks like Tarek is going to do quite a bit of damage to it, helping out a Mumu who has a fairly slow jungle. Yeah, he doesn't have any problem taking out the blue buff, but it, yeah, it does take him quite a while, so Tarek helping him out there a lot. Speaking of slow jungle, Tarek and Amumu jungling together <laughs> might be the slowest jungle you can imagine. <laughs> Duo jungle? Duo. Is that the new meta? <laughs> Support and jungler? EMU is trying out new things. Looks as you can like tell. got Caitlyn bottom, who is always not very fun to go against. Mm -mm. Caitlyn versus Ash, bottom lane ADs. Supports, we got Tarek Versus Jana. I think I prefer Tarek, but that's just a personal preference. Jana is really good. She just doesn't have the heal, but her shield is really good. Right. So. Jana's only heal you're going to get is that ultimate. <laughs> Tarek's just doing some warding here. Buying the three wards allows kind of, him to. Yeah, kind cover. of an early warding there. Right. And we did, did just see Lee Sin. Nope, there he is right there. Got the CV up on him. So, unfortunate that he used the CV a little late. Could have waited a little bit on the warding. And kind of odd that the uh, other team got Lee Sin. I'm surprised he didn't get banned. That makes the second time we've seen Lee Sin. Mm -hmm. Shows what we know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the stun off on Ash here. And we will be spending a lot of time in bottom lane since it is from Tarek's perspective. And we're in law replay, so... And just with the way top lane and mid looks, it's going to be a lot of sustain from all these champs. And I, I doubt we're going to see many early ganks. We got Swain in mid versus Brand. I think I said Talon was in mid earlier. I don't know why I said that. Yes. Oh, they're going at it. <laughs> Only we knew. Swain oh, versus and Brand. In interesting matchup. We'll go back to bottom where we can know for sure what's going on. And Ivy Law, which this game is brought to you by, is uh, sponsored by MaxFrag.net. MaxFrag is offering 15% discount on a Ventrilla server for your team if you l use the code IvyLaw at the checkout. So if you're in the market for a server, check it out. You hear that, EMU? You hear that? <laughs> yeah. You don't have to use the chat. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Moo Moo going ahead. Looks like he's going to come down for a gank. Skipping the red, Skipping yeah. Skipping the red. He might be getting small golems here. I'm not sure. Yep. Yep. Small golem. Nope. Oh, nope. Nope. 
Looks like he's going to try to sneak into the bush here. Would be my guess. Just some definite... It is one of the most surprising ganks, because you, right. you don't really expect them to come out of that bush. We're su oh, and there... He might have just blown his cover. Yeah, I think with he might have had vision yeah. on him there. So they're backing out, it looks like. Yep. So Luma, blew his cover, It looks like he didn't know that he has vision on him. Interesting. Ash putting the hurt on uh, Caitlyn. It looks like Amumu is, should be going back, but he's going to keep coming in. Man, top lane looks like Talon is just constantly pushing that Yorick. Feels like they're going to maybe force a gank here. Mm -hmm. John is taking a lot of damage. Yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and Ash is being super aggressive. I'm guessing Ash started with a Doran's Blade. Maybe they forgot a Moomoo's there. Well, we're about to find out. Yeah, I think they're just kind of hoping that they won't think he's there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he can't still be there. He's no not gonna, way. He's, he's not going to sit there for five minutes. He has to have gone by now. I have, oh, doing a lot of damage. I have been a victim of a gank like that, got to admit. It's <laughs> one of the most surprising ganks, I will say. Where I mean, where I saw him go in the bush, mm -hmm. and then it was three minutes later. And Ninja there's the stun. stun. Amumu's going to try to get the bandage toss up on him. Got the it. toss off. Oh, oh the, flash. the flash. So close. John is going to live to see another day. Very the close. Pot ticking, and Amumu's going to jungle. Wasted a lot of time there, unfortunately. Yeah. But a very solid attempt for a gank, I will say. Tarek throwing another ward up in the proper place. Yeah. <laughs> It's interesting how he used those two early on. Which yeah, that is. Wow, wow look at that. Yeah, taking a tower hit. Wow. Ash get a little too aggressive there, maybe. But look how low they are. Yeah. Oh. I don't blame her. Pretty interesting. And Amumu going, going clear as jungle. Top looks pretty stale, what kind as of, expected. Uh, what kind of CS is we looking at here so far? CS as follows. It's got Talon's, like Talon's 44 versus Yorick's 14? Wow. <laughs> that is not good for York. <laughs> not at all. But look at Talon's items already. Jeez. So Talon's wow. going to be doing a lot of damage. And then mid. Usually sitting up there helping out York. Looks like York's still hanging in there. Yep. Talon's at about half. And that's just the strength of York, top solo. It's just very powerful A lot right of sustain. Now. A lot of sustain. Brand's getting a little aggressive with the Moomoo right around the corner. What's CS looking like in mid here? Swain's going back. As we see Brand with 31, Swain sitting on about 20. So, so Brand handily beating him on CS mm -hmm. there. And not to mention, everybody picking up the assist as well that yes. earlier is yep. definitely helping them out. See, Amumu just got a Philo Stone. Talon got the kill, that's why his items are ridiculous. Yeah, his items are <laughs> yeah. ridiculous. And his, he's, his farm is also really strong right yes, now. Yes, it is. But she just got nerfed, so I wonder if we'll be seeing him as much. There's Lee Sin with the red, showing off the CV, and <laughs> how you just use it to completely track your enemy jungler. Yep, that is what you want to use that CV for. So you they know they have some time down bottom to yep. do what they want. Don't want to be surprised by him. Mm -mm. And Ash is six, so expect an arrow very <laughs> shortly. Last we had a hitting ping there. over here. Looks like Moo's gonna give away the blue buff to Swain. Very smart. Oh, and we have Tarek. Wow, diving. look at this Tarek diving. And oh, there's the arrow. arrow. Is she gonna pick up the kill? Oh, oh, so close. And just barely escaping is Jana. Everyone very low right now. But Lee no, Sin? neither jungler is uh, close. So. Lee Sin looks like he's looks like unaware does. of what's going on bottom. Lee Sin's watching the lane for Brand, I think. Yeah. And they're going to just go back to laning with that sustain. They're going to be next to full by the time the other two get back here. And also, pushing the lane this hard uh, does leave you open for ganks, but it also allows you to have more dragon control mm -hmm. since you have that lane push stuff. So. Oh, oh, there's Brand. Brand. The flash in the oh, wow. Yeah. Pick Ash goes down. Kill. Brand surprising him with the flash and the stun. Tarek going back. Not feeling too good about that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably going to pick up his Philo stone. Let's see what he gets here. And Dragon is not warded right now, so he will get some is. wards on him. 
Moo Moo looking to gank Lee Sin here. Lee Sin has not been a, a threat at all this game as far as jungling ganks go. Yeah, which is kind of something you want to take advantage of as Lee Sin. Mm -hmm. We saw him up top, but that was, I think, merely just supporting. Oh, and Brand's Brand Brand trying to come around behind here. He has no oh, idea. Wow. Oh, wow. Caught by a Moo Moo ult and the stun. Very nicely done with those timed stuns. But here comes Jana and oh. a Moo Moo goes down. Lee Sin picking up a kill. So far, some very good play, some very aggressive play. Right. Just trading blows back and forth here. We'll go ahead and go bottom, see what's going on with Ash and Caitlyn. Looks like they're finally pushed back to their tower. And a CV on Dragon. That's Tarek, smart. very wisely, picking up some sight wards. And CVing that Dragon before he wards it. Right. So he doesn't get surprised by anything. Top still looks like Talon just pushing away. Mm. He knows exactly where Lee Sin is, so he can kind of do whatever he wants. And Ash went ahead and got the BF sword as wow. before her boots. Nice. Which is a very nice buy. That is a lot of damage for how low level she is right mm -hmm. now. She's doing a very good job last hitting. Trading blows with Caitlyn wow. here, and look at that damage output. That's very substantial damage she's dealing already. Tarek mm. just Tarek getting six, six here. I don't really know how he fell behind. He did. Oh, he did beat. Yeah. Ash got all those creeps.